the, um... Well, well let's see, what, what should I do? Just hold, <laughs> just hold it still so it doesn't jump. Yeah, okay. Alright. <laughs> there we go! Now we can, uh... Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm over here at Ambler EV. Saw my first video about doing the uh, Porsches. So we're gonna be converting this Porsche 914 to electric. Originally the idea was to go with a hub motor. However, we've decided against that. Um, what we're gonna do, and remember, this isn't gonna be, this is we're not going for the fastest car in the world or the fastest Porsche in the world. We're looking for a drivable Porsche that has about the same power as the stock Porsche. Um, only looking to do about 60, 70 miles, ride around town, doing a cheap conversion, um, safe conversion that anyone can do extremely easily. So. What I'm using for this is we're going with the ME003 motor going, it revs at 4,300 RPMs. Um, decided to go with that. We're gonna run 500 amps through it, through uh, an all tracks controller at 72 volts. But today we are doing the bench test. We got Sam, the owner of EV, Ambler EV. And right now what we're gonna do is I got a coupler with a key. I don't know how well it's gonna work with the bench test. We're gonna try it out. We're going to put a keyway inside the spline and then slide this over here and get the motor and slide it over there. I bought a pre cut out motor mount and this is going to go right here. So easy peasy, should be fast. Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> and it'll save a ton of weight. So this is, you know, the Porsche is where they go. And the axles, it'll all be stock. We'll be able to use the stock rev limiter or the uh, stock um, tachometer, speed sensor, everything. So this should be a pretty sweet build. Uh, and I'll show you the batteries are gonna be going right in here. Gonna be using Chevy Bolt batteries. Total weight should actually be reduced. So excited to see what happens, but we're gonna do the bench test on it. We're gonna try to hook it up to the transmission and see if the transmission works. All right, guys. So we grinded out a keyway right there, as you can see. Here's the coupler with the keyway already in there. We take the keyway out. Stick it in. I need to buy a garage for that reason. So as you can see, it is tight in there. Oh, it's been nice. in. So now we just gotta tighten it up. And more money. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so so far we were able to couple the motor up with the transmission. We got this plate. We're about to bolt the plate in against the uh, bell housing. And then we're gonna run through the gears. We're not gonna put it at full power. It's a 12 volt uh, lithium iron phosphate battery pack that we're gonna test with. So, so far so good. Uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about this keyway. I, I hope it will, but I really doubt this little keyway is gonna hold the torque from the transmission, but we'll see. Uh, got a couple different transmissions, so if this doesn't work, we can play with something else. Um, possibly try to weld it on or something to that effect. Just to make it stronger. But yeah. This little baby's gonna be on the road and touring in no time. All right, so we just finished up uh, bolting up the plate, putting the coupler on. So now it's time to do a little bit of a bench test on this. 
So I'm gonna set this up. Uh -oh. And then uh, we're just gonna run a 12 volt battery to it just to get it spinning. Um, yeah, so let's uh, see what happens. No whammies, no whammies. This. this is gonna work. <laughs> yeah. I got this. Yeah. If you were told me two years ago, this was the most important You're full of shit. <laughs> we're never gonna finish this. <laughs> No, it really is amazing how far everything's gone. Now, I mean, is this the actual size motor? Yeah. We use. Yeah, this is it. This act, that's the actual motor. Wow. Okay. Um, puts out, like I said, 66 pounds of torque, which I don't think is that much different than the stock one, and puts out uh, whatever 20 kilowatts is. Okay. Which I think is around like 40 horsepower. Give it a whirl. Um, well, let's see, what, what should I do? Just hold, <laughs> just hold it still so it doesn't jump. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> there we go! Now we can uh, play around with uh, the gears to see if we get to change gears. Probably have to let All right, guys, so we got it running. So this is a I would change gears on the video. Well, that's the, uh... We have to figure out how this guy goes. It's supposed to pull out and go forward. But yeah, it might, it might be stuck. I'm about to, I have a pressure dust before he mounted on there. Yeah, I'm about to take that plate off down here and figure out why it's not, yeah, figure out why it's not shifting gears. Let's just, let's just, I'm gonna, here we go. What, it's, uh, I mean, it's working, yeah, it's working pretty well. Right. Uh, just yeah, yeah. right, because it needs a little more pull. <laughs> yeah, it should kind of go like... It, right, it, 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 it should pull out. Oh, 
Oh wait, so do we take it off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to grind it. Right. <laughs> Obviously when you're driving, so we think we would take your foot off the pedal and then we right. go and we'll stop. Right. One more time, off. Again. It's reverse. Oh, okay. Well that's good. And then take it off. Alright, so so we must be so reverse not you must be in two figures first. Yeah, because when you pull it out, you go over and up, right? Right, yeah. No, I think I think where, where was reverse? There. Reverse is okay. So first should be up there. Now we pull it out one. Okay. Now it should be second. I think second's back and third's forward. Now we forward. So we got it going. We're gonna actually mount this up and try to get the tire spinning. Nine fourteen EV is on his way. All right, guys. So we were able to put. Motor and transmission in and get a better shot. So, I mean, it's just mocked up. Actually, get, get a shot. So, you can get from here. This is kind of cool. Man. <laughs> <laughs> here, you, you can see the engine sticking out. <laughs> and there's the engine. There's the engine. So, like I said, that's not gonna be how it's mounted up. We gotta mount it a little better, but um, just for our test, it ends up working out pretty good and we can use all the stock parts for the uh, gauges. So, that's super exciting. And so, in the next episode of Convert My <laughs> Porsche, we're gonna have uh, the swing arms put in and the axles put on um, and see how we can spin it, so. Yeah, maybe I'll, and I'll try and see if I can find the linkage. Oh, the linkage would be great, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that way we can actually run it through run the years. Run through the years. Right. Woo, it's yeah. getting done, it's getting done. Right. Just call us EV West of the East. Right. Ambler EV, coming <laughs> at you.